that is absolutely delicious. Isn't it amazing? Of course, we've got to be using the fork and spoon. No knives around here. We're eating a Filipino dish, so we will be using a fork and spoon. <laughs> guys it is eve here hope you're all doing really really well as you guys know tapa or tapsy log is my favorite favorite dish in this entire world and it does happen to be from the philippines it is a filipino dish but i haven't had it since i went to the philippines so um people commented on a video saying what i needed to make tapa and i realized that we can get all the stuff in england apart from calamansi but it says that you can use lemon juice instead so i thought today i'm missing it so much i'm going to make tapa i really really hope this works oh it's my favorite food in the world so i've got all the ingredients for the marinade so i'm going to leave this to marinade overnight it's like half one now and then i'm going to cook it in the morning for breakfast tomorrow around 10 so it'll be marinating for like 20 hours so hopefully that'll be enough so here are all the ingredients i've got for the marinade i've got dark soy sauce i've got sugar i've got garlic that i'm going to mince i've got salt and pepper i did that the wrong way around i've got salt and pepper i've got lemon juice um because that's meant to be calamansi but we don't have that and then we've got the beef sirloin that I'm now going to cut up. I'm going to add all the ingredients into a pot and then put it in the fridge, cover it and let it marinate overnight. I'm just so excited, guys. I can't put into words how excited I am. This, If this works, I'm going to be eating this so much. It's going to be absolutely ridiculous. So I've just got my beef out of the packet and uh, washed it. So now I'm going to cut this up very finely, it said. So I've got a very big knife here. Um, and I'm just going to cut it up into slices as fine as I can. Because from what I remember, beef tapa comes very thin. So I'm just cutting it as thin as I can sort of thing. I really hope this works, guys. I'll be so sad if it doesn't. If it doesn't, then I can just try again with a different recipe, though. Practice makes perfect, after all. I'm going to cut this bit of fat around the edge because I really dislike the texture of fat. So I'm just going to go ahead and take the fat off that's coming off really easy actually probably don't even need the knife no you can just literally peel it off which is very good oh you do need the knife i'll take that back there we go i'm just going to chuck this in the bin and i'm going to chuck that end bit because that's a lump of fat all of this is just me i'm just going to continue to chop this as fine as I can. That is all cut up now. Here is all the beef. I'm going to now go and wash my hands. Now is to make the marinade. This is what I'm so, so excited about. So I've got the recipe up on my laptop over here. First thing is half a cup of soy sauce. So I've got my measuring spoons over here. I've got my soy sauce here. I'm just going to add this into a bowl. So half a cup of soy sauce. There we go. Now I'm just going to pour that in. Smells good. I love soy sauce. Next up is quarter cup of calamansi juice. And um, I don't have calamansis. We don't have them in England. So I just have lemon juice. Because I read that you can substitute that. So I've got my quarter cup here. And 
I'm just going to fill this up. There we go. Up next is two garlics, minced. So I've just got them here. Just going to chop off the heads and the tails. I'm going to put it through this mincer twice to make sure that it is really, really um, minced, I guess. So I'm just going to put it through once. Just because I feel like if it's smaller, then there's more chance the beef will like stick, it'll like stick onto the beef. I don't, I don't know. I'm not a chef. I'm not really sure. There we go. I'm going to do the second one. That is our garlic. Just going to add that. Up next is two tablespoons of brown sugar. There's one. There's two. Up next is half a teaspoon of salt. So I'm gonna crack salt into my hand. And I've got my half a teaspoon here. And I'm just gonna scoop it up. That's not quite enough, that's just under. So I'll just do a little bit more. Then it is a quarter teaspoon of black pepper, which is this little one here. So I'm gonna do the same, crack it into my hand and then pick it up in that to make sure the measurement is correct. There we go, I've got it in my hand here. I'm just gonna scoop it up. Again, we'll just add a little bit more. That was just under. There we go, and that literally is all of the marinade done. So it says that we should mix until the sugar and salt feels dissolved. Now I'm going to add all of the meat. Make sure they're all separated. And I want to push them down to make sure that they are under the marinade to make sure they all get completely soaked. Oh, this smells so good already. So all of the meat is in there now. I'm going to put some cling film over this. We're going to leave it in there for 24 hours. And I will see you guys tomorrow. So it is the next day now. It is like 12 o'clock in the afternoon. So we'll be having this as a breakfast slash lunch. Like somewhere in between. Because I know that this is meant to be a breakfast dish. But it is a little bit late, but that's okay. So I've got my lovely, lovely beef here, all marinated. It's gone really brown, which I was not expecting. I don't know if that's because it's just soaked up all of the soy sauce or because like the acidity has cooked it or something. I don't know, but it is really dark brown. It literally almost looks like it is cooked and it smells amazing. So basically what I'm gonna be doing now is frying these, like cooking them, getting a little bit of oil, like a tablespoon of oil, cooking them for, I think it's about five minutes, then popping the rice in the microwave, then cooking our eggs, and then they're gonna be sunny side up, they're gonna be like runny yolk, then we're gonna add everything together and mix it all together, then add a little bit of vinegar on top, and that is that, I'm so excited, it smells so, so good. I am quite sad that I couldn't find garlic rice anywhere, but 
you got to do what you've got to do, haven't you? So, here's the frying pan over here. I've got the recipe up here. I'm going to add a little bit of oil. Just like that. And then I'm going to turn this heat on. So this oil is getting nice and hot now. I'm going to add the beef. And it says to get like a level surface, don't overlap the beef, because we want them to cook evenly. Oh my God, it smells so good. we go I want them all spaced out nicely so all there's no overlapping and now we're gonna cook them for about five minutes so dark because of the marinade it's going to be hard to know when they're cooked that is one thing that I'm not sure about there's a lot of liquid that's come out of this don't know if you guys can see that there's a lot in there it is smelling good it is smelling good my dudes shimmy them all about so they all get cooked on all of the sides sort of thing there is a lot of liquid I don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing it says I need to cook until the liquid is almost absorbed but there's so much I don't see this ever being absorbed to be honest there's just so much of it I'm not really sure what to do. I'll leave it for a bit. It might. You never know. You never know. So I think the liquid is actually starting to reduce a little bit, which is good. And they are getting more brown. So I'm going to go ahead and chuck the rice into the microwave now and get that rice cooked. So this is getting quite thick and reducing down quite nicely. I really hope this is what it's meant to look like, guys. Please, please do let me know down below. But from what I can remember, it, it does go this very dark dark brown colour that is what I can remember in my memory there the slices are thinner when you get them in a restaurant but that's okay that is absolutely something I can work on completely so as I said this is getting reduced down a lot to be honest I'm very happy with this my mic my microwave my rice is in the microwave and I'm going to cook the eggs in a second and then I'm going to plate this all up pour some vinegar over it and then me and my mum are going to taste it and see what we think. Um, so it says once the stuff, the sauce is reduced, to add a little bit more oil. So that is what I'm going to do now. Just a little bit like that. Just another tablespoon. All oh, my rice is done. There we go. Now I'm going to cook my egg. I'm going to get some oil in there. I'm going to lower this heat down. I really don't want the beef to like burn. That is really not what I want to happen. So I've lowered this beef right down now. I'm going to pop two eggs in here so that we can get the egg fried rice. Because in Max's you like mix it all up together and that's what I want me and my mum to have because I have so much fun. <laughs> 
Oh my goodness, guys, the beef is smelling so, so good. Oh, they are blending in together a little bit, but that's okay. <laughs> so I've got my beef back here, cooking away. It's going this amazing dark, dark brown colour. It's looking so, so yummy. And then I've got the eggs cooking here. And I've got my rice that is just boiled. This looks absolutely amazing. Let's whack the heat up on these eggs, get these cooked. So I'm just gonna put half the rice on each plate. Of course, we've got to be using the fork and spoon. No knives around here. We're eating a Filipino dish, so we will be using a fork and spoon. <laughs> I'm gonna take the meat off the heat now. That looks perfectly done in my opinion. Look how beautiful and brown that looks. Oh my goodness, I cannot wait to eat this. I'm just gonna cut the eggs. Egg is plated and now I'm just gonna put some of the beef on top of the rice oh guys this looks amazing And my brother's gonna have some later, so I'm gonna leave some in the pan for my brother. But now I'm gonna come and call my mum to come in to try. Mum, you ready to try? Whew, moment of truth, guys. So me and my mum are now here with our tapsy log. I am so, so excited. Mum has never tried tapsy log, even in the Philippines. So this is really exciting. I'm now gonna show her how we mix everything up. So we get the spoon and the fork and then you're going to cut the egg up tiny and you're going to cut the meat up get that yolk going mix it all in and i'll try the meat first so you okay can. you can Don't right try let's try mm -hmm. yeah good oh mm, the flavors that is so so Does good it taste like how you i've had it very similar very very similar like mix cut the egg now now you cut the egg up and you cut the beef up and you it's mix really it all egg. in thank you so you mix it all in so you've got the egg rice and then you've got the beef all mixed in like this as i said we couldn't find garlic rice sadly that is how i prefer to have it but that's okay you could, fry some garlic up or something you could but there was lots of garlic in the marinade yeah, so that was the, my point. Yeah, you've got the corn. lots of garlic. We've got lots of garlic on it anyway. And then, so we normally have the acai or achai, which has lots of vinegar in. So I'm just going to pour a little bit of vinegar on the top. And you normally get a serving bowl of vinegar. Oh, do you? Mhm. Mm so should I put some vinegar on mine? You should. I'm going to try it all together, guys. The egg, the rice, the vinegar, and the beef. I'm going to get a big spoon of everything. Mmm. Is it how you remember it? I'm still mixing. Have you put vinegar on yours? Yeah, yeah. Right. I don't know why, but the vinegar changes everything. Right, let's get a little bit of everything. Is it too hot? No, it's fine. Mmm. Yeah. Oh wow. That doesn't taste as mm. good as Matt's. I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you guys. It's never gonna taste as good as it does in the Philippines, but it tastes pretty damn close. I'm gonna make this so, so much. How do you feel about that? Mmm, that, um, yeah. What's, What's your favorite bit, the beef? The beef. Mm. It just tastes so good. And that salt in the marinade makes it caramelize. So there's this oh, coating around it wonderful. that is just absolutely incredible. I think all the combination, the beef and the egg. And the vinegar. Yeah, I might have a little bit more vinegar. Mmm. 
The vinegar does sound really weird to go on it, but it just brings out the flavours. You have so like then well. you've got like the salt, the sweet, the acid. <laughs> What's the other one? <laughs> it just tastes so oh. good, guys. Mm. Oh, I'm so glad. As wow. I said, this it it doesn't taste quite the same as it does in the Philippines, but I wasn't expecting it to. But this is closer than I thought I'd get. And the beef is so tender. It, you literally mm -hmm. pop your fork, your fork, you pop your spoon in and it just falls apart. And as I said, there's no knives around here. We're doing it the Filipino way. We're doing it properly. I'm it sort so of happy so with it. looks so dark. You're expecting it almost to be burned. But yeah, it's not but of course cool, not. Yeah. Mm. Tastes oh. so good. I love like the saltiness of it as well. Oh. And that yolk mixed in. That is absolutely delicious. Isn't it amazing? Mm. Can you tell why it's my favourite Filipino dish? Everyone knows that it's my favourite dish, tapa. So, oh, the beef well. mm. the beef alone is called tapa, but this dish as a whole is called tapsalog. So, tapsalog is my favourite dish. Beautiful. So, I just want to say thank you guys so much, so much for sending me this recipe. Yeah, it's good that you was able to find everything. Absolutely. Thank you so much. This is going to change my life. I'm going to be having this literally every week. And mine for the better. <laughs> <laughs> it is so, so amazing. And I just want to thank the Philippines for coming up with this amazing, amazing dish. It is my favourite food in the whole entire world. And that is no mm. word of a lie. <laughs> Nothing. We're gonna go now and we're gonna finish this amazing dinner. Thank you so much. And I hope everyone is staying safe, don't we? Definitely Mum works in the good. NHS, so she has a first hand experience of everything that's going on. So it can get quite stressful. So I'm glad that I've been able to cook her a nice meal that we can both enjoy Thank together. You very much. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> See you guys later. Stay safe, stay indoors, enjoy, have some tapa from Max's from me. Have some yourselves. Mm -hmm. <laughs>